what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? On the latest episode of the Steam Room Podcast, Charles Barkley gave an account of the time he spoke to Michael Jackson on the phone. We'll come back to that. First, let's talk about who he said was his favorite rap group. Public Enemy. Public Enemy would be a good pick for anyone to have as their favorite rap group. One problem here. Public Enemy is a respected, honorable group. Charles Barkley is not. Public Enemy are revolutionaries. Charles Barkley is a buck dancing, starts with C, rhymes with moon. All you got to do is look them up. You ain't got to take my word. I know some of you out there probably listening, you're probably offended. How dare you say that about Charles Barkley, Willie D? Man, a fight go with what I said. I stand on that. Dude got way too many accounts of him buck dancing, trying to please the man. You know, that's what he do. He does master's bidding. Always got something to say about black people that's negative. Oh, he'll start it off with something positive and then he'll go in negative, heavy on the negative. He never points out the wrongdoings or any type of uh, bad vibes or impressions that he may have of anybody else any other group. He picks on black people because he's been given a pass by Massa. Think I'm lying. The next time any type of uh, racial discussion comes up and it's involving black people, watch how he talk. He's a cop apologist. He's a, a super dummy, barely can speak. I don't know how he made it into the pros. I thought that you had to pass a certain level of academics to be allowed to play sports. Somehow, he slid through the cracks. I should have said squeeze through because you know he has to squeeze through, squeeze in, and squeeze out of everything. Remember when Michael Jackson was dangling his baby over the balcony of a hotel? I believe he was, what was he? He was in some foreign country. And people were going crazy. He said that he was on this show. And attorney Gloria Allred was going crazy, just carrying on about Michael Jackson. And he said, oh, y'all, uh, going overboard with this. Y'all always make a big deal out of any little thing that celebrities do. I'm paraphrasing, but you know, he was basically you know, defending Michael Jackson. So apparently Michael Jackson got wind of it and reached out to his agent to thank him. So he says that his agent calls him and says, hey, you know, Michael Jackson wants to talk to you. Can I give, you, give him your number? And he said, yeah, of course, it's Michael Jackson. So he says, Mike gets on the phone. He's like, Charles, I want to thank you for defending me. Yeah, that old mean lady, Gloria Allred, she's just horrible. And he said he started turning up like, you know, fanning out like, yeah, you know, Mike, you're my favorite artist, and you know I'm your biggest fan, and you know I just love you. And he said he's just carrying on, and then after a while he realized that Mike 
was off the phone. After Mike said what he had to say, <laughs> he hung the phone up. <laughs> Shouldn't have never called him. Should have never called him in the first place. But if he felt compelled to call somebody who was coming to his defense and it was Charles Barkley, at least he cut him off. He just, you know, took a dump on him. Like, yeah, 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 thank you. And click. Like, I ain't trying to get to know you, sucker. That's how you do it. It was human nature for Mike to not want to break bread and get off the phone with that chump. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?